Welcome to the Green Wasp Removal YouTube channel. In this episode, we continue training and mentoring the Manchester University Wasp Survey Team on September 9th, 2023, as they remove a large bald-faced hornet's nest from a tree in the side yard of a local residence. The nest hung low enough that it was becoming dangerous for the homeowner to maintain the lawn around the tree, so the nest had to go. The team collected the adult foragers for venom immunotherapy, or VIT, and then cut down the nest, did a field dissection to expose the brood comb so it could be relocated into captivity, where the pupae in the nest could complete metamorphosis into adult wasps so they could be collected for VIT later. As always, the team worked extremely well together and got the job done perfectly, like the field pros they are becoming throughout the 2023 wasp season. Thanks for riding along with us today. We hope you enjoy the show. If so, please like, subscribe, share, and comment so we can continue bringing you educational, entertaining content like this on a regular basis this season and beyond. Now let's take you back to September 9th, 2023, when this job began. September 9th, 2023. A very active, fairly large, bald-faced nest hanging from a tree. You can see it's already active this morning. So we're going to go ahead and set up the vacuum pole on it so we can start collecting foragers from a distance back here. Once we get the number of foragers down, uh, we'll get up there on a ladder and cut it down. The team today is Trey and Katie from the Manchester University Wasp Survey Team. Suiting up to take on a bald-faced hornet nest we just got some imagery on. Today we're going to go in with the uh, extender pole and we're going to use that to reduce the population. So what we do is we set this hollow pole onto the vacuum tube and then we extend the pole all the way up to the tree and we simply vacuum up all the foragers, as many as we can get before we try to pull the nest. It just keeps the swarm under control. That is the plan. So we're rigging up the back pole and this will extend right up to the tree line where we need to get to the bald face nest. Today we have Regan who has arrived. Good morning, Regan. <laughs> Trey and Katie. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. You ready? Are you getting stuck in? Are they going in? Yeah. Okay, I can great. Feel it. I'm on it. Yeah, they're big enough that they make a pretty good clunk when they come in. If they're focusing on it, that's perfect, because then they eventually jump right in the hole. Don't let them walk out, though, because sometimes they'll walk out and climb right in the nest if we're too close to the hole. Are they coming back out? No, they're coming out of there. Yeah, I think we're doing pretty good. Mm, if we don't get them on one side where they're going out, we'll get them while they're coming back. I'm 
working on now find my chest. We can set up the ladder yeah. and uh, yeah. clamp it. We'll have to tape it though, I don't think I have a clamp. I mean, whatever you wish to do, I'm fine with. If you're, if you're comfortable the there, then yeah, let us know when you need a break minutes. and we'll clamp it up. Yeah, no, we're definitely... Yeah. We're nothing. I think suction looks pretty good. I'd say so. See what we can do with this thing. I like this extension pole because it keeps them off of us. I sprayed my hood. <laughs> one of them went after your hood already? Yeah. Uh-oh. Let's pull back about an inch or so from the hole so they can't walk out of it into the mess. Swarm's definitely reducing, so we're getting them. Can we set up the ladder now? Okay. Yep, you ready? Gotta do the second round. They're still pretty active.
a good 95% of what's going to keep When they're coming back in, we'll make sure to catch them before we cut it down. Because at least right now, they have somewhere to zero in on, and that makes them easier to round up. I don't want to cut it too soon before they come back, you know. Well, you're back in there. I'm going to get a little closer imagery to this lateral hole. Okay. Let's give it about another five and then we'll cut it. Hey Trey, give it a second. Let me grab a container for that. It's attached to a tree It may not work with these, but give it a try, see what you can do. Oh, I want to give it a good old college. Cut away all the small stuff first. Maybe keep that right by the hall while he's working. What do you think? Is that feasible or are you gonna need the loppers? I think it's feasible. Okay. Uh James, you mind holding this branch right here? Yeah, no problem. Where are you at? Over here and near the other this one? side. Yeah, that one. Okay, got it. So I can get it. Okay, but great. Be real careful. Just stay stable on the ladder. That's priority. Good job. Good work up there. All right, let's take a look at this beastie. Boy, that's a beautiful mess. Trey, chop these, will you? The, the other uh, remaining branches. Okay. Done. This one here. Out the way. Right. These few, done. Oh, that's a good looking nest. Look at the size of that guy. That is a beast of a nest. Good work, guys. All right, it's September 9th, 2023. Manchester University WASH survey team. It's Katie, Trey, and Regan today. Good job. They just cut down a very large nest. We're going to do a field dissection on this today. So we're going to have Trey cut it open and show us what's inside. Regan, if you can manage that back, uh, we'll probably get a little bit of activity here that you'll be able to suck up in the vac. There's going to be a few adults in there. But I'd like to see this brood comb exposed for sure. So I'm just going to come in here. I can try to keep the paper as large sheets as possible. Yeah. Nice. Try to get all the paper off before we knock any comb out. 
As you see these guys here, uh, go ahead and back them up, Regan, right here. The problem is this brake right here is nothing to come to do with. But. Catch him and put him right in there, will you? There you go. Excavate the paper and put it in the bucket. Yeah, sounds good. So up here in the very top of the nest, there's a lot of small little nooks and crannies, and we're gonna start cutting those open to expose the various wasps that are usually hiding in there. I notice the earwigs here. The earwigs are always attempting to go after wasp nests. It's one of the natural predators. Here's another little bald face, let's grab that one. There's another one. As you see him, just snag him and put him in the tube. So pull this chunk of paper. Maybe cut that support right there. So this is where we're going to be looking. You see them all in there? These are the ones we want to try to collect. Sometimes even the queen is up in there. It's hard to tell which one is the queen. She's usually a little larger, but bald face, it's a little hard to tell because so many of them are the same size. I'm going to chop them in half, that's a quandary. All right, we can get ready. We're going to start sucking up some of these adults that are hiding in here. I think it'll be easiest if we just grab them and feed them to the tube. Sure. That material is extremely strong. It's as tough as thick cardboard. Here you go. This one, let it land. And then Regan can catch it. I don't even know where it went. Here you go. When that one landed, there it goes. It's oh, just about it. Go. Did it go in? Got it, yeah. Great, excellent. Hey, here we go. Okay, Regan, you ready? Let's just poke this, let her hit this real quick. There you go. Oh, there it is. There's another one. Right. Get them all right in. We want every one of them collected. Okay. Okay. Here you go. Come on, Grace. Send it back.
we go get you that one. Because any of these can be the queen. So you want to make sure you grab every one of them you can. There you go. Hopefully we didn't push them up too much. There we go, there's another one. There's another one. Hold still, buddy. Get over here. Go. Get that one. Come on. There's still some more in there. Okay, now Trey, what I liked you doing last time, you had a great spin technique. Let's do that again because that worked really well. Careful you don't get stung there. Really. Right there. Really Catch out? this one here. That's not going anywhere. Right? This would be a lot of people will be able to raise out for VIT. Assuming the raccoons don't get to them first. <laughs> I gotta start putting them into wire cages. Oh, I talked to Michael yesterday and he wants to uh, be included on what he can with the walk that could be. Great. Mm -hmm. Great, you got oh, another wow. recruit? Yeah. Excellent. So I didn't know if you wanted to sit down for lunch sometime and discuss. Yeah, that'd be great. Right now, and all that stuff. Great idea. Let me know, do you have a cap, Regan? Here's one on you. Hey, look at this, that's a bee. That's a bee, no, leave it I'm just going to move them up. Hey, dude. Okay. Let's see what's next. Are you crawling out? Hey, oh, big one. That could be cleaning. Could be. Oh, and it just fell back into a circle. Okay. There you go. Well, <laughs> good. good job. Hold on. Gotta hold the base. There, there we go. Yeah, you have to put him in my hand. Not working. Yeah, so, right, let's cap off. Regan captured most of the last of the collection coming out. They're sort of congregating at the bottom of it. And now Katie is over here working the last of the foragers that are returning. When they come back to this area, they will explore that device because they do that naturally. And when that occurs, she'll be able to collect them as they come in. So this takes a few minutes to do, but it's always worth it to collect the last few that you have there. You getting a few yet? Yep. Great. Here's the forages we just collected by having it up there. You see the number of them already in there? That's just from having it hover around the old space where the nest was. They come back, they explore the hole, and they go right in. So good job. Thanks. September 9th, 2023. Regan and Trey are holding up 
the collection of bald faced hornets, Delico vascula maculata, that we just removed from the tree nest. And we took the tree nest down, did a field dissection, and looks like we got most of them. Thanks, guys. Number 9th, 2023. This is the collection of bald faced hornets, Delico vespula maculata, that we just removed from the large tree nest. They're clustering together inside the container. So we're going to go ahead and get these frozen for venom immunotherapy. They get more and more active when you expose them to light. September 9th, 2023. Here we're opening up the brood comb that we retrieved from the tree nest. And we're gonna put it into this bag so that it can pupate out. And flip it upside down like it would be in, in the natural world. And we'll just take each level of the comb because there's still a few pupa in here that may survive. Same with larva, if they're given a chance, uh, they may actually be functional. So we're gonna let them try to come out. There's a few workers that may attempt to support the nest. As you see here, so we just drop them in. We're hoping that they will just continue. So that's it for today's video. Sorry that last shot got cut off a little bit early when the camera battery died, but uh, basically we were just putting the comb into a paper bag, which will simulate the paper that you see here on the nest. And it allows the pupating wasps to come through the metamorphosis into the adult stage where they can be collected for VIT. Thanks for riding along with us today. We appreciate you being here. If you enjoyed the show, please do remember to like, subscribe, share, comment, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. And we'll see you next time. Have a good one.